What about social conditioning? Cultural norms. Society imposes a set of norms and expectations on us. Society will tell you what's right, what's wrong, what's normal, what's not, what's what's normal, what's normal and what's acceptable. Oh, you see spirit, you need to go into an institution and, you know, so be locked up and have electrotherapy and you know, because that couldn't be possibly be true. We'll tell you what's normal and what's not normal. We'll tell you what you can believe, what you can't believe. And who's telling us what's normal and what's not normal? Who's telling us what's acceptable and what's not? The people who seek to maintain even further control of you. The people who are just trying that little bit harder to gain even more power over you. <clears throat> you are told how you should dress. You are told how you should look. You are told how to behave. You are told what to believe. You are told to conform. They use weapon as uh, they sorry. They use fear as a weapon. Their biggest weapon is fear. Fear of each other. They will they will tell you. They will make up a story, and turn you against another culture, against another religion, so they can have a good enough story to go into war and kill countless. They're not going to war. The people sitting behind the desk aren't going to the war. Their sons aren't going to war but they're sending everybody else to war. And we know that war doesn't work. We absolutely know that there is enough evidence just in our lifetime and our parents' lifetime to know that war doesn't work and most of it has been a manipulated story in the first place. But they manipulate you through fear. Fear of each other, fear of failure, fear of rejection. And, and they use this fear to divide us. 